Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Outdoor and Door Texan. Today I'll be showing you how I grill up those perfect crispy chicken wings. Chicken wings are a big staple for parties because they're easy to handle finger food, but also filling enough to be a standalone meal. The big quality check for a perfect chicken wing is crispy skin and juicy meat. I'm going to walk y'all through how I do it, and I'll even share a few secret tips to hopefully get your wing game up to that tip top level. Start out with two to three dozen chicken wings with drums and flats separate and lay them out on a wire rack set over a pan. The big first step in getting crispy skin is drying each wing off with a paper towel so there's no moisture whatsoever on the skin surface. Next up, sprinkle kosher salt over all sides of your wings. Once salted, set the pan in your fridge for at minimum a few hours, but ideally overnight if you can plan ahead. This will act as a dry brine and combined with that circulating dry refrigerator air washing over the wings thanks to that wire rack, it is crucial in creating that crispy skin texture we're going for. After an overnight dry brine, you can see the chicken skin has tightened up considerably and that salt has helped draw moisture away from the surface of the skin. Now toss your wings into a large mixing bowl and give them a very light drizzle of yellow mustard. This won't affect the end flavor, I promise. It's only here to act as a binder for your rub. If you absolutely hate mustard though, feel free to sub in a high smoke point oil of some type. That should work just as fine. Now let's throw down some excellent seasoning to make these wings really pop. I'm using a combination of both yellow and red label musket powder. Both of these rubs are coffee based, which gives them a really unique flavor on their own, but combining the yellow label's chipotle and sweeter notes along with the red label's spicier cayenne flavor really just sets the wings on another level. You're welcome to use whatever rub you love, but I have to say musket powder is something really unique and worth trying out. And while we're on the subject, if you're looking to get your hands on a bottle or two of musket powder, make sure to use the code TEXAN10 at checkout for 10% off your entire order. Now that our wings are tossed with seasoning, it's time to head outside and get to cooking. I'm using my big green egg, but just about any grill or smoker that can maintain 400 degrees Fahrenheit will work just fine. It's very important to not set your wings directly beneath the heat source. We are grilling these indirect, meaning you want to either use a heat shield like the one I'm using, or have your coals piled high in one corner and your wings on the opposite end. Cooking indirect like this will reduce burnt charred skin and will wash that hot air over your wings, helping crisp the surface to perfection. After 15 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, open up your grill and flip your wings. This is also a good time to spot check for any hot zones and adjust your wing placement. After another 10 minutes, open up the grill and everything should be just about ready to come off. I use an instant read thermometer to double check internal temp. Any wing showing over 165 degrees Fahrenheit internal will be safe to eat, but also make sure the skin is cooked to your liking before calling it done. Once the wings come off the grill, I typically take half and plate them as dry and then toss the other half in a mixing bowl for a light coating of barbecue sauce. If you prefer all sauce, sauce them all. If you prefer all dry, then toss them on a plate and get to eating. Either way, all the hard work is pretty much done and it's time to enjoy these wings. With this batch, you can see the right hand side is spun with barbecue sauce and the left side I left dry. Everything got a great bit of color from the grill and that skin had a perfect crispy snap when biting in. Chicken wings are always such a crowd pleaser. And by following my tips, they'll also hopefully become an easy standout dish you can now call your own. That'll do it for this one, and thank y'all so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. I'm always happy to talk shop with my viewers. For those of y'all new to the channel, please make sure to like and subscribe for more great content to come. All right, y'all, take care.